Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I am going to be doing these a lot more to just bring you along my journey as a self-taught developer, documenting what I do and what I'm learning. I wake up usually around 9 a.m. now since quarantine started. My early mornings where I used to wake up at 4 a.m. eventually dwindled away. I then stay on my phone for a little catching up on what emails came in, who messaged me on Instagram and checking on Twitter for a little. Yes, it would probably be a lot better for me to just spring up out of bed but sometimes I can still be productive even in bed. At least that's what I tell myself. After I decide it's time to move and get ready for the day, I first always have to make my bed now. I find that it helps calm me down and start the day off right. If you watched one of my previous videos where I talk about staying productive even when you're not feeling it, which I will link above, then you would know that this acts as a small win and helps my mind spring into that productivity mode of wanting to get things done. Once I make my bed, I do the usual shower, brush my teeth, then it's time for coffee. I recently decided to splurge and get myself this Gaggia Classic Pro Espresso Machine, which I have been loving. I've always been a coffee snob, but never had the chance to make espresso since I always did pour over with a Chemex. So for the past couple weeks, I've been learning the machine, dialing in my grinds for the beans in order to get the extraction time just right. You typically want 25 to 30 seconds of extraction, and that's when you know the beans are extracted well. Today, I just so happened to nail the grind size, so that espresso shot was one of my best ones yet. Now that I have some caffeine in me, I'm ready to head back to my desk, which is literally just two steps away, and get started with work. First, I checked the emails that I made a mental note of in bed. Since I don't like responding on my phone, I feel a lot better and a lot more clear minded when I'm responding on my iPad or my laptop, which is weird. I know. Don't judge me. It is around 10 a.m. at this point, And today was also a day where I needed to make a post for my Instagram, which if you are not following me, you're missing out on some behind the scenes of my daily life as well as photos of my setup, which I primarily post. So you should definitely check it out. I also run the Instagram for the gym I coach at. So once I finish editing the photo I shot today, I find a photo that I shot previously for them and edit that as well. Once they are edited, I work on the captions in Google Keep, which I use to get the captions over to my phone and airdrop them over to my phone so that I can post. That process takes usually around 30 to 40 minutes altogether. So it's about 11 p.m. And now that my first tasks are out the way, it is time to get some studying slash learning time in. Recently, I started this new course from Brad Traversy on making an e-commerce site from scratch using the Mern stack. I knew React already, but I wanted to dive a bit more into the backend side of things with Node, Express, and MongoDB. So this was the perfect course in my mind to get started with that. I already went through the first part where we make the front end of the site. And here I'm working on the back end, getting the Express server set up to serve the data from our database and now connecting that server directly to MongoDB. We used Atlas and Compass to connect everything together, so there was just a lot of setup involved with this section, making sure everything was working correctly. I hack away at that for about two hours and now decide to have my first meal for the day. If you noticed, I actually fast in the morning and don't have breakfast. I find that I'm a lot more productive when I don't eat in the mornings because generally I always get either super hungry or really tired around the afternoons. Today, I made a salad with some leftover sausages we made from the day before and finish it off with some salsa verde sauce. Also, I decided to finish off some Starbucks coffee we had in the fridge since I was just a bit too lazy to make another drink for myself. If you haven't noticed, I have an issue when it comes to coffee. Lately, I've been making an effort to not eat at my desk and rather eating out in the living room with my iPad to watch some YouTube videos and just enjoy my break. This allows me to disconnect from my work a little and just relax so that I'm ready to go once I'm done eating. Around 1 p.m., I finished my food and lost track of time watching a small film on LeBron after winning the NBA Finals. I'm not a Lakers fan, but it was a cool one to watch for sure. I head back into the office and start the course back up where I left off. This time, we are modeling the data that is about to go into our MongoDB database, which again, requires a lot of setup. We had three different models, all looking very similar with small differences in the types of objects it had and what properties it contained as well. This was all new stuff to me as far as working with a database and setting up the back end. So I like to take my time on this and rewatch the videos until I start to get a grasp on it. I don't need a full understanding just yet, but I want to make sure that I understand the workflow and how everything is moving from one place to the other. 
It's now 2 p.m. and I start to see my focus dwindle a bit, so I wanted to hit my run for the day to get a little active. Under normal circumstances, I would have went to the gym to do a workout with my friends, but I have been focusing more on my running since I'm following this 5K program to improve my aerobic capacity. Smooth little 20 minute effort at a 50% pace, which really isn't all that bad. I think I was running a 822 that whole way there. Um, so I think the total was like two something miles, which really isn't all that much for me at least. Um, that sounds kind of, it's not like a dick when I say that. <laughs> um, but cool down walk all the way home. I was just running around this local park. That's like right next to my house. So we're gonna cool down, shower. Right now it's 3.40 p.m. Um, after the shower, rehydrate, see what's going on. And uh, probably get back to some studying. So I'll see y'all back at the house. After the run, I shower and cool off a bit since it was a pretty hot day today, then decide to make myself another drink with a shot of decaf espresso this time. I typically like to drink my coffee black, but recently towards the end of the days, I like enjoying different kinds of drink, kind of like a dessert. It's about 4 p.m. now and it's back into the office to finish off a couple more sections of the course. After we modeled the data, we were getting our sample data ready and imported into MongoDB Compass to make sure that our backend server and the database was all hooked up and working properly. After hitting some errors and a couple typos later, I fixed some of the issues I was having and everything started working the way it should. At this point, I decided to rewatch some of the videos to get a better grasp of the concepts and then take some notes on those. At around 5 p.m. is when I start to shift my attention over to my personal brand, which if you guys don't know, I'm kind of like an influencer on Instagram, so I try to finish off some tasks there. I have a promotional video I had to shoot for Autonomous.ai for their new smart desk that is coming out soon, so I look over some of the video guidelines they sent me, film it, and then I edit it. Once everything is looking to my liking, I spend some time getting the video onto my phone, testing it on another account before I post it up on my main page so that everything kind of just looks right. This takes about two hours, so it's 7 p.m. now, and I decide to make my second meal of the day. Yes, I don't actually eat much, but I find that I'm able to maintain a good amount of energy otherwise. I head back to the living room with my dinner and watch some day in the life vlogs with Ali Abdal, who is actually one of my favorite creators and try to catch some inspiration so I can find ways to spruce up my own videos. I finish my dinner and decide to stay in the living room to get some work done on my iPad Pro. I was actually working on the script for this very video you're watching now, but then get distracted by some notifications on Twitter. At around 8.30 p.m., I wanted to get ahead and work on this video, so I dumped all the clips I had for the day into a folder on my drive, import them into Final Cut Pro. I started to cut together a rough idea of how I want the video to look so I can get a sense of how I want the future videos to look. This is the first time I'm doing this style video, so there's still a lot to play with as far as workflow and the, the look of the video. I do this for about three more hours where it's now 11 p.m. and I decide to get into bed with my iPad to finish off some work. I was very occupied with this script, so I work on that for about an hour and a half, which gets us to 12.30 a.m. and I decide that it's time for bed. That is going to conclude this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed that productive day in the life with me. If you would like to see something more specific in what I do in a day, let me know down in the comments. But other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.